please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Welcome to The Dating Den. This is Marnie Batista, and I have with me my handsome. What are we, the best non-romantic couple on the internet? Yes. You know, Christian Anderson, we used to say that back in the day at Dating with Dignity, and now there are boatloads of couples on the internet. Oh, yeah? Totally. Shut up. No, there really are. But oh. I still think that we're the best. Cool. I, I mean, I'm, I've been so out of the loop. I've been in a grad school bubble. I so. know. Well, I'm just saying. There's a lot more, we're but we're first. still the best. Okay, so it is tradition that we do an angel card. Okay. And then we'll tell you what the topic is. Ooh. Sisterhood and brotherhood. I love that. That's oh my a first God. one. I know. That is so awesome. And it totally, like, relates. It does relate. Right? Tell so them how it relates. It relates because we're talking today about how do you get the hope back when you've dated a bunch of Schlemiel Schlemazels, mm -hmm. Hots and Pep Incorporated. Mm -hmm. You're old enough to get that. <laughs> Schlemazel, I love you. Hots and Pep Incorporated, doing it our <laughs> way. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. Um, the 17 year olds were like, what? Just the Google. 23 year olds. Not right. now, but like later, Google Laverne and Shirley. Okay, <laughs> but not now. Don't do it now. Okay, so if you are feeling like dating is hard, dating sucks, there's really literally no good men. Mm -hmm. um, Christian was the last good man he's taken now. He's got a really great girlfriend. So if you're feeling like this sucks and you're trying to date, we want to tell you that that is probably the worst thing that you could do. Yeah, that, that energy that you would have does put out an energy which men can, can sense. We can sense that. We can feel that. That's right. the girl who's like in the bar like this. You know, that's just pushing away. Right. It, it reeks of bitterness. But it's understandable. So, if you've been encountering the same Shamil Shamazel right. guy, the, the player, the whatever, and you feel like you've lost hope with men, there's a couple things going on. But the only thing you can control, obviously, is yourself. And so, to be creating that energy, we... Do me a favor right now. Write down a sheet of paper. When you when when I tell you uh, men, what are the first three things that come to your mind, right? And read those three things. Right. And if those three things are not really that positive, <laughs> we, we gotta we gotta change that up because really you only. But but it's easy for me to say. Just start thinking of men, and that there, there are good men out there. Right. 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 So it's so here's a, this is a Marnieism. Um, you cannot think your way out of your thoughts. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we can yeah. tell you, like, be positive. Yeah. And you're going to be like, F you. Sure. You don't know that what happened to me. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually, I'm going to get like a little coachy here, but this is, this is important. What happens is that all the experiences of our past create like the lens that we look through. So we believe that is the truth. Uh huh. But it's actually your truth. Mm hmm. It's not the truth. <laughs> Because there's really good men. Yes. In fact, women that work with us and like take the 60 second to love quiz and take our training on how to be irresistible and do the work, you know what they tell me? Hmm. They're like, I think I got like the secret password to like where the good guys are on match.com. Because hmm. mm -hmm. there are good guys. Okay, so number one is understand that what's going on for you isn't the absolute truth. Be open to the possibility that it's just your truth. So if you know that there's another reality out there, yep. then what can they do? What's one tactic, tool, technique they can do to start to live into the possibility that the next date could be great? And this is just what the woman is going to do yep. on her own. Yep, she's out there right now. She's like, okay, I believe you. I got it. So what am I going to do then? If I can't think my way out of my thoughts, what can I do to start to be a little hopeful? Sure. And I, I one one thing, because as we always talk about, this comes back to self-care. It's 90% yep. part of it. Is ask yourself, do you feel like you deserve that good quality guy? Right? Because if, if you be really honest with yourself, because if you feel like that maybe you don't deserve to have the guy that you really are looking for, then of course you're going to be putting out an energy like a magnet that's going to be attracting the so-so guy because you think you're a so-so catch. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm a great gal. Or, or like, I don't know, like he's out of my league or yes. I can never get a guy like that. So if you, if you resonate to that, then what I want you to hear is this, that if you don't think you're lovable, Mm -hmm. then it's really hard to receive love mm -hmm. and let someone inside. So this is a great practice to get started. Okay. Okay. 
It's appreciation and gratitude. Yep. Okay. So what you do is for five days before you go to bed, okay, you're going to write down five things you appreciate yourself about yourself. So it could look like, um, I'm really great with uh, older people. Um, I'm really patient. Um, I always pick myself back up. You know, like what are these things that make you amazing? Mm -hmm. And then when you wake up in the morning, you're going to say three things that you're grateful for. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know this sounds so basic, but I promise if you do it for five to seven days, you start and end your day with positivity. Yeah. Wait, can, you, can you expound on that? What, what kind of grateful stuff? You okay. Thank say? you. Example. Thank you, Craig. Well, you tell me. What is an example of gratitude? Like if you were laying in bed and you wake up and you're like, yeah. I just did it this morning. I wrote, I always write down five things I'm grateful for and five things I appreciate. So what is like grateful? There's a personal story I want to say with this that, that really helps. But yes, the, I've been told that the first three minutes of the day are sometimes the most impressionable. So it's like, what do you want to do with those first three minutes? And starting now with gratitude literally is releasing different kind of chemicals yep. in your brain. It's starting off in a whole different direction. Instead of saying, oh my, I got to do all this today or another day of being single or whatever. You start off being so like gracious saying, I am so happy there's a beautiful sky outside my window right now. I am so happy that I am just, uh, I have uh, food in my fridge. Just basic stuff that you can really truly be grateful for. I'm so grateful that I have a loving parents, that I have um, this this beautiful home that I can stay that in. That I have the money to have a Match.com account. Yes. Those things that, that sometimes we take for granted, uh, especially in the West, <laughs> right. that we... Uh, know that these are really big, powerful things that we should be really grateful for because it puts you in a whole different mood. It starts to open up blinders to all the opportunity that's around you. Being grateful. Does, when we're not grateful, we start the blinders get a little tighter and now we're like, bad men everywhere. Life is not great. Right, because what you put your attention on is what the universe sees as your intention. Yep. So if you see negative and you see crap, then you get to be right. Yeah and you're gonna have a lot of crap. Self-fulfilling prophecy. So there was a time when I was really in a funk and I had a life coach tell yes. me, like Christian, and this is again, so basic. He's like, when you wake up in the morning, cause I was really in a funk, I want you for 60 seconds just to yell out in your room, just say it like loud enough about everything you're grateful for. And if you have to fight through that because you're not really grateful, just fight through it. And again, it's really powerful to start that because before you go to bed, you say great things too about what you appreciate. Then you go to bed and your brain just rests in those thoughts of yep. what you appreciate. So now that goes into your dreamscape and that's powerful. Then you wake up with gratitude. So you're bookending your day with ways that really can remove that funk, that bitterness, and maybe those blinders that are feeding the same type of man that's coming into your life. Because a guy that you do want, he might see the energy that you have in the room and be like, ah, no, 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 no. But if you have that different energy right. of gratitude, of appreciation, of self-respect and self-love, that's where you're gonna find that true other counterparts and be like, oh, like energy, oh, I like that. And here's the thing, this is like a stretch for some people and it feels uncomfortable. So just try it. Number two yeah, is just try it. Just try when it you're out there, instead of looking for what's wrong with the guy, okay, even if it's not a match, your job is to share with somebody in your life five good things about that date, about that person, about that experience, so that you train your brain to focus on the positive, so that you start to create your own truth. And it's really important that you share and you, um, you articulate and express because if everything's happening just up here, transformation and changing your yep. thinking doesn't really happen. So your job here is we can use our comments section to actually help you, yep. right? So start sharing with us in the comments below. What do you appreciate about yourself? Think about the last date you went on. We don't care if he you know, didn't look like his pictures. What were five things that you appreciated about him, about the date, about the experience? We want to create a comment chain of positivity and love. <laughs> And we're going to change your thinking yes. so that you can go back out into the dating world with optimism, positivity, vibrancy, and it can actually really be fun. And attract that same energy to you as exactly. well. You're paving new pathways in your brain. Literally, that's what you're doing. Your neocortex can be malleable. Ooh, you can yeah. form new that's ways, it. new thinking, cognitive behavioral therapy. We'll all agree with this as well. So do it. Jump on it. Even if it feels funky, just try it on just for at least seven days. Seven days. Seven, seven days. days. Seven days. Let's do it. 
Hey, and training for seven days. You can get started with our training. Click on the 60 second to love quiz. Is it up there, Craig? Uh, it's right above, it's, it's either going to be below you guys. Below us? If they're on a mobile device, it'll be above it's Christian's head. up there. A little bit over there. There, there it is. There, right click there. on it. Yeah. Click yeah. on it. Get started. We will help you change your thinking. We love you. You can follow him at Let's Talk Dating on uh -huh. Twitter. You can follow me at Barn Barney. Barney at Batista. Barney Batista. Is that you on the cover of Vanity Fair? Barney. <laughs> No, but I wish I had those legs. <laughs> okay. Mwah! Love you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.